Hey guys, we are looking at another sweet knife. This is a buck knife folding, um, model number uh, 397. And this is the Omni Folder Hunter. And uh, just picked this one up not too long ago. Um, really nice knife. It's, a, it's actually a lockback style. Um, so you just push this lock back and that locks it and it clicks. Solid knife, fits in your hand. Um, fits in your hand very well um, got a good grip there really good grip um, the knife comes in this box nice box here um, and it shows here uh, model 397 made in the USA that's one thing I like about this knife it's made in the USA um, does come with this nice um, nylon sheath um, and it says the model number right on that 397 it's got a nice uh, Nice belt loop there. This is one of these durable um, sheaths. Real durable sheath. Fits in there nice. The buttons are good. Everything's really good about the sheath. Um, what else can I tell you just about this? There is no clip on the knife. It's meant to be carried in the sheath. Um, I'm not sure what the exact weights and dimensions are. I'll try to put that in the in the description it's it's a pretty light knife this is like plastic here um, it's like a it's actually plastic and thermal rubber um, this part here is actually the rubberized material and then this is like a hard plastic so a little bit different um, it kinda looks like it's all one thing but it's not this is like a soft rubber right on the top part here and then this is like a hard plastic and one thing I noticed that I don't like is this, since it's the hard plastic, kind of digs into your hands a little. And I don't know if it's just the knife I got here, um, but right in this groove here, it kind of digs in um, to my hand. I mean, not a big deal. I mean, that's really... Uh, I'm really searching to find something uh, wrong with this knife. I mean, the price of this knife, I think you can pick this one up for $20 a lot of places. And it's made in the USA. Um... You just don't see a lot of knives that are made in the USA this good of quality, this good of a hunting knife um, for that kind of money. Um, it's got thumb studs on both sides. It's got some jimping right here. Um, like I said, it's got this lockback mechanism. It's a pretty good lockback mechanism. It's a big knife as far as um, size goes. Very, uh, very big knife. Um, I'll show you how big it is um, compared to the 110. Um, you can see it's it's quite a bit bigger um, than the 110. Kind of hard to hard to see, but I mean it's a it's a jumbo <laughs> it's a jumbo size knife. The 110 is a pretty big knife, so gives you a little bit of comparison. This blade steel is 420 HC. This is one of their um, pretty common blade steels, but I like it. it does a good job. It's a hollow grind um, right in here. Nice, nice sharp nice knife out of the box. It's gonna hold an edge really good. Um, total length of the blade, almost, almost four inches. Handle, five inches. So in between, eight and nine inches total length I believe might be a little more than that uh, there are no coatings on this blade it's just a satin finish kinda like that um, and then you got your heavy-duty adjustable uh, screws here um, and then rivets locking in locking in the handle to the frame Um, there is a hole here. You could put a lanyard if you wanted. Um, so that's kind of nice. Um, what would I recommend this knife for? Just a, a good solid hunting knife. Um, just a, just a good all around great quality knife. Um, this is going to do a great job for, um, for whatever you need. I mean, it's just a good it's a good knife at a good cost you know uh, you don't see a lot of 
buck knives you can get that are going to hold up this well. This is a good solid knife. It's been around a while. Um, and it's just it's just a really nice knife. I, I like it. The only thing I said is this uh, digs in a little bit to your hand, but what can you expect for, you know, 20 bucks? Let me, uh, let me see if I can uh, show you how to cut paper. <laughs> uh, we'll test this out, see if it, uh, see if it cuts. Very, 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 very sharp knife. Um, gonna do a good job. You know, um, I don't know what more to say. It, 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 yeah, I like it. It's buck. It's a quality made knife, and it's gonna stand the test of time. So you can't go wrong getting this knife. Um, is it your high end knife? No, it's not a high high end knife, but it's a really good hunting knife for the guy that goes out there Wants to uh, just have a knife to carry with them out in the woods if you're elk hunting or deer hunting or Whatever kind of hunting you're doing bear hunting. Um, this is just a good knife. It's all weather resistant um, And it's, uh, it, it feels good. It's lightweight too. really lightweight knife. Um, I would I would guess this is uh, probably three, three to four ounces. So really light knife, and uh, it's warranted forever from Buck. So you're gonna you're gonna get a great knife from them that's warranted forever. So this is the Buck Omni, model number three ninety seven, and um, I, I do recommend this one. It's a good quality hunting knife. Hey, thanks a lot for checking out this video, and um, uh, feel free to uh, to rate it and uh, check out some of my other videos. I got quite a few buck knives um, in my uh, in my videos that I've been reviewing lately, and um, there's a lot of good knives that they have that are out there right now. Um, this is one of their lower cost ones. You can get into pretty uh, pretty good price. So uh, let me know what you think. Uh, write a comment if you like this and. Um, uh, I'd like to hear what other people have uh, thought of this knife over the years. Thanks guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.